And once again, guys, the great thing about these positions is they're totally interchangeable. For example, I can fit into position one, I can drop to my single, I could drop to uh, you know our hip ride position off of that very easily and efficiently. I could also start in on a low fit in, maybe go from my double leg to my single and then work up to a high fit in to position one. Maybe I need to rest, maybe I don't like what's happening in this position, maybe he's doing a really good job of stuffing all of my options from that position. We can kind of float up to our high fit in and then we can start to execute another chain of strikes. For example, some guys have really, really good takedown defense. Uh, they're kind of like cats, you know, you, once you run the pipe, their hips bounce back up and they're right back to creating more problems for you. And the whole idea with these positions and takedowns, we really want to be as efficient as possible. That means we want to expend a lot less energy than our partner is expending. So if you find yourself in a situation where you feel like you're struggling as much as they are, maybe we need to vary up our tactics. So maybe we need to switch and chain to a different position, whether that's staying in a low fit in or moving up to a high fit in or vice versa going from a high fit in to a low fit in. We always have to be aware of what our options are so we can take advantage of all of these positions and defense and all that good stuff that's happening um, as we're looking to secure the takedown and position, okay? Uh, one of my favorite things to do, which I like to talk about a lot here, is once we're in maybe, uh, so let's say I fit in on my double, and then I'm kind of here on my single, and I don't really like what's happening. I can go bicep control, work up, now, I can even move my hands in the inside. I can break, punch, get back into a shot. And then maybe I get my hands locked this time. Maybe I get my hands locked. And then now maybe I can lift them and take them down easily for the double. But that only happens if I'm not being too rigid and, and, and fighting through a position that isn't going to go anywhere. I like to transition before you have to transition. All right? So whether we're, we're, we're grappling on the mat, and I'm in side control and he starts to frame and I could pop up the knee on belly uh, before he regains his guard. It's the same thing along the fence, along the wall, which is very important. Once you feel your partner maintain a structural defensive position that is going to potentially neutralize what you're doing or counter what you're doing, we have to be ready to transition quickly before they neutralize the position. A lot of people move when the position gets neutralized and they don't realize that what happens is they are literally playing into your partner's defense and their counter because you waited maybe uh, two seconds too long, maybe even half a second. So we have to feel what our partner is doing and we have to move and flow before they have neutralized what it is we're looking to do. And of course, before they've countered it. So we fit in, we start to feel a little good pressure. You can feel when someone's defending a position correctly. We have to move and flow into the next one, move and flow into the next one. You've got to be a little tricky sometimes, but it's very important that we do not stop moving. We do not stop pressuring in these positions and we're not delaying our actions because we don't know the material. Okay. So we have to chain all of these options and choose potentially maybe the easiest option that's available, available to us in these positions.